Repeat these two words just before going to sleep and make your dreams manifest before your eyes. If you have set your sights on something but are not sure how you can get there, this two-word technique will work as a guide for you. See, working hard and giving all in is one thing, but if you are not aligned spiritually, manifesting your dreams might be a bit hard. Have you ever noticed that some people seem to effortlessly attract abundance into their lives while others, no matter how hard they try, are always going through difficult times and find themselves struggling? If working hard to succeed was the only way, then you might have noticed there are a lot of people who give all they can yet can't find a way out. This can also be correlated with the most successful people out there. Through this video, I am going to give you an extremely powerful technique to overcome the fear of failure and take steps towards your goals. Welcome, and I hope you are having a good day. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to like this video because something good is coming into your life. Also, subscribe to the channel to never miss out on updates and stay connected with us. Now, coming back to our topic, we are talking about two words, just two, not three, not four, and not one, that you have to repeat just before going to bed. Why before the bed? Don't worry, I will explain everything. Stay until the end to find out everything. Before jumping into what the technique is, let's try to learn what makes this technique effective and powerful. I want to tell you that you, me, and everyone else in this universe have been created equal. We have been programmed to do any kind of work, and we have been given the freedom to visualize. We are not helpless, but we have been programmed to be. None of you out there have been fated for poverty. You are just trained for it. One thing you are free to do is think. If you change the way you think, you can actually change your future and live the dream of having all the wealth you desire, even as a millionaire. You are not meant to be ill or feel unwell. Some people out there emphasize that it's due to your genes and cannot be changed no matter what you do. Well, let me tell you, no disease can live in a body that is in a healthy emotional state. Your body is casting off millions of cells every second, and it's also creating millions of new cells at the same time. If our entire bodies are replaced within a few years, as science has proven, then how can it be that degeneration or illness remains in our bodies for years? It can only be held there by thought, by observation of the illness, and by the attention given to the illness. Metaphysics and quantum physics have been studying this idea for years, and now mainstream science is beginning to acknowledge it. You have been programmed to face the hardships and the failures, but if you can alter your programming, or, in other words, reprogram your subconscious, then you are introduced to amazing relationships, abundance, prosperity, and other infinite possibilities. It starts with you being ready to reprogram your mind and the way you think. You are not convincing a stranger. You need to convince your own mind, especially the subconscious part of it. The subconscious has the answer to all problems. If you suggest that your subconscious mind wake you up at 5 a.m. before going to sleep, it will awaken you at the exact same time. Have you ever paused and thought about the essence of our sleep? We spend about eight hours a day, which is nearly one third of our entire lifetime in sleep. Lack of sleep can cause you to become irritable, moody, and depressed. So there is no doubt that you are spiritually recharged during sleep. Adequate sleep is essential for you to be joyful and happy in life. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever come across moments where you were given guidance while you were asleep, especially in your dreams? I am sure that it has happened to many of you. There are healing currents in our body and these are released during sleep, making you fresh and rejuvenated in the morning. Your subconscious mind never really sleeps. When your subconscious mind is in an open state, it won't really resist what you are trying to tell it. And that time when the subconscious is welcoming is the time just before you go to sleep. That is the very reason we often dream about the thing we last thought or talked about just before falling asleep. 
In this busy world, I am sure you have found yourself lost in a never-ending loop, doing chores, rushing to the office, and all the other responsibilities in your head. Before you have time to realize all this, you are bombarded with more responsibilities and distractions. Now I hope you realize the importance of the moment before you go to sleep. You will be able to leave your existing life and move towards a more fulfilling and ambitious life if you incorporate this practice into your daily bedtime routine. I urge you to make it a part of your bedtime routine. I have seen and realized why this method holds such immense power. I want you to acknowledge the essence of this moment and how it plays a crucial role in fulfilling your goals. Moving on, let's try to break down the imagination and praying part. Neville Goddard has often said, it's not just about what you think, it's about how you feel. Jesus of Nazareth also taught, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. So what do these two sayings imply? Well, if you are my regular viewer, you might already have decoded this. That's why I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Ok, continuing the imagination and praying part, Neville Goddard said that your dreams should not be limited to words only. You should be able to visualize them. You should be able to play it in your head, like a movie plays in a theater. Further, Jesus taught that if you want your prayers to be effective, or, in other words, if you want them to manifest in your life, you should act like you have already received the thing you wish for. Be happy and do not hold resentment towards anything. Act like you already have what you wish for. This implies that it is not only about how you feel, but also how you can use these feelings to visualize. Confused about how to do this perfectly? I'd like to suggest something to you. I want you to get a notebook and create a list of all the things you desire. Rank them according to their importance in your life. Don't be afraid to dream big. There are no limitations. When you complete this list, first try to read it. The second time you are reading what you have written, try to visualize whenever you are uttering those words. For instance, if you have written that you desire a big house, imagine yourself lying in the garden of that big house. As you are lying, imagine you appreciating all the hard work you put in, which was completely worth it. This is just an example. You can try this on anything, including your dream car, your dream job, your soulmate, or anything that is most relevant to you. Try to achieve something positive for you as well as for the universe. Proceed to the next step and try to envision the experience from a first-person perspective. This is how you visualize things as if they are happening right now, as if you already have them and are living by that experience. So let me tell you what will happen. You might probably write down 10 or 20 or even 30 goals, but you will fall asleep envisioning the first few of them. And that is completely fine, as the first ones that you listed were of more importance to you. Your subconscious will let in your prioritized goals, and it will remember them even if your conscious mind forgets them. Now comes another important thing I mentioned at the beginning of the video, two powerful words. So Dr. Joseph Murphy, renowned author of the book, The Power of the Subconscious Mind, suggests a practice of reading two words that are related to what you desire the most. So if I want to manifest lots of wealth and I want my health to be in perfect condition, I'd say wealth and health. You can choose any words that you think are relevant to your goal. A tip I can give you is to try to take the words from the first two desires and write them down in your notebook. These words hold immense power, and your subconscious mind will accept them as you have already stored the most important of your desires in them. As you are sleeping, repeat these words until you drift away into the realm of dreams. After you have expressed your desires and visualized them, repeat the two words that are relevant to our desires. Enchant these words like mantras and drift into sleep with them. If you succeed in sticking to this formula, I am sure you will break the scarce chain that has been holding you back. The essence of this technique lies in consistency. Slowly you will begin to observe changes, especially in the coming weeks and months. 
Give yourself a five minute before going to sleep. During this time, reflect on your desires, the things you have planned out for tomorrow, what you want to happen in the next day or in your life in general. This will put you one step towards your goal and overall makes you more organized. Remember, we all are created equal and our dreams have no end. You have the ability to recreate your reality, act in now and give thanks to this determination your entire life. Never doubt the process, be grateful, continue to work hard, and make all the techniques I have mentioned your habit. There is no stopping you from pursuing your dreams. Good luck, and see you on the next video.